Hey guys, Ryo here with Watch This Instead for Friday, October 8th. And today I saw Secretariat, which is a by the books, traditional, old fashioned, based on an inspirational, true story, Disney drama that I guess needed to be told in that no one's ever made a movie about this particular horse before. Secretariat is directed by Randall Wallace, a guy who's probably most famous for writing the screenplay for Braveheart and Pearl Harbor. It stars Diane Lane and John Malkovich to name a few. There's a bunch of other people that you'll recognize throughout the movie like uh, for instance Lafayette from True, True Blood. He's in it. Diane Lane plays a housewife whose mother's death and father's failing health draw her back into the family business of horse breeding. And in an effort to save her father's farm, she takes the reins, pun intended, and sees her underdog foal go on to win the 1973 Triple Crown. The movie is filled with inspiring speeches about never giving up and running your own race, and predictably, against all odds, Diane Lane, as this simple housewife who knows nothing about horse racing, goes on to show everybody, including her doubting husband and brother, that she's got what it takes and yet she has the spirit and the gumption to win. The film is hopelessly safe and doesn't really add anything new to the inspirational horse racing movie genre, although some of the footage of the actual racing is really cool, even though the quality of that footage looks completely different from the rest of the film, which is kind of weird. And boy, is Diane Lane ever gorgeous in a classic Hollywood kind of way. She's completely believable and fits right into her role as a late 1960s upper class housewife, even though she delivers probably the most forgettable performance of her career. And speaking of performances, John Malkovich makes this face through most of the movie. Ultimately though, the film only really succeeds as a historical drama in that this is something that actually happened to these people this one time. Beyond regurgitating factual events, the film didn't really do much to inspire me. Overall, the film feels kind of patched together in certain parts with no real drive behind it and there's some really weird musical cues that kind of made me do this. Yes, it's the story of a woman overcoming the odds in a man's world. And yes, it's the story of a horse that went on to break all these crazy records. But ultimately, the film just kind of reads as a story about racing horses. A pastime in which the super rich buy and train these gigantic beasts to race against other gigantic beasts owned and trained by other rich people. It's not exactly a world that I can easily relate to. So as a filmmaker, if you're gonna try and inspire me, a common peasant, you're gonna have to work a little bit harder in crafting your film. The old fashioned by the books Disney drama formula doesn't really cut it. And in the end, Secretariat just comes across as bland. Instead you should watch, predictably enough, Sea Biscuit. Basically, the inspirational horse racing movie genre stops there. It's directed by Gary Ross and it's set in the Great Depression. It stars Tobey Maguire as a blind in one eye penniless jockey. It also stars Chris Cooper as a homeless guy who's a horse trainer. And it stars Jeff Bridges as the owner of the horse whose son gets in a car accident which drives him into deep, deep depression. Plus, the movie is about Seabiscuit, an undersized thoroughbred racing horse from the 30s that went on to achieve unexpected success and fame and helped to lift up the spirits of the American people who needed it at that time. Gorgeous cinematography and spot on art direction and costumes helped to sell this incredible story of an underdog horse and the team behind it, ultimately resulting in an inspirational horse racing movie, Home Run. You could also watch Viggo Mortensen in Hidalgo, which is also pretty inspirational and underrated if you ask me. But the bottom line is, unless you're looking for a straight up history lesson of early 1970s American horse racing, I would avoid going to see Secretariat. 